Hello everyone, Boises here, uh, and today uh, I and Swin, a special collaboration, will be getting you on how to play the Talon Morgana comp. It is back after the B patch and definitely in S tier, maybe at the bottom, I don't think it's the top just because there are slayers everywhere. Uh, but it is definitely really, really strong and less con contested than you think. Um, Zwin is a challenger player who played around 80-85% of his games uh, Talon Morgana, so he knows his stuff, basically. Uh, so we will basically tell you everything that he knows about the comp, how to position the strongest boards, the early, mid-game and late-game transitions. Uh, for this guide, so let me know down in the description if you have any questions. I highly recommend all of you uh, to check out his stream. I will put the link down in the description. He is a great guy and a fantastic streamer and player. Uh, I learned a lot of things just watching his stream. His stream is super chill, super fun. So I highly recommend you guys uh, check him out. Um, yeah. Let me know if you do have any questions, but I will just uh, let him take over now. See you guys next time. Hey guys, what's up? Um, my name is Sweeney. Uh, I'm known by twitch.tv slash Sweeney on the EU West server playing TFT. Uh, I'm a challenger slash GM player right now sitting at GM who pretty much mains Talon. I play Talon in 80% of my games. Haven't been able to do so to the debug. Um, from last patch, which was 11.4, but in the current patch, which is 11.4b, he's finally fixed, and I played him a bit on my Smurf, I played him a bit on this account, and I'm here to tell you how to play him. So, thank you very much, boys, for having me, uh, it's an honor. Yeah, let's get straight into it. So, how to play Talon. So, I have an empty team builder open here. I'm pretty much going to talk about how to play him, where to get, how, uh, where to pivot from, what units you should cop, what you shouldn't cop, stuff like that. So, I have nothing in here, because there's no point in showing you a variation without getting there. So, how do you get started with a Talon game? First and foremost, get a sword. Try to get a sword from Carousel. Reason being, Talon uses a lot of sword items, or can use a lot of sword items. But sword is pretty much the most important item you want since it builds into GA, right here, builds into IE, builds into BT if it's necessary, builds into Deathblade if it's necessary, Divine Spat, GS, it's a lot of items. So pretty much start sword. If you can't get sword, get a glove. Glove builds into Hodge, builds into IE, uh, builds into Lost Whisper. And it's pretty much an all-around good item to uh, start the game out with. can build into QSS, which is not optimal, but it can be. If it's none of those two, you can't get neither of them, get a rod. Because one of the most important items in the comp is uh, Morello Morgana. So you pretty much can start out with Sword, Cloth, Rod. And pretty much if you don't get any of these, just take whatever. It's completely fine. Let's say you get a cloak, can build into Runons for Talent, can build into Chalice, can build into Decla. Let's say you get a tier, again, can build into Hodge, can build into Chalice, can build into Shoujin even. Really doesn't matter. Don't start Belt. That's the one thing I want to make very clear. Do not start Belt. Belt only builds into Morello. And in a talent based comp, you don't need Sunfire because you already have the burn from Morello, so it's just unnecessary. So. When your game starts out, what are you looking for? What units do you need? Where are we taking this direction to? So, any units that can benefit your comp are good to pick up, such as Divine Chosens. Chosens like Divine Gnosis or Divine Wukong, Vanguard Wukong, Cypher Gnosis, really doesn't matter. These two units are great to pick up. They're probably one of my favorites for Talon, together with Fiora. These three Chosens doesn't matter which one are super good. Nessus, Wukong, and Fiora can all hold GA. Pretty much any unit in the game can, but all these units can hold GA really well. Why Nessus? Nessus is the best of the three to hold Morello. Because you're gonna sell Nessus eventually to pivot it over to Morgana. Can hold Morello. Can also hold Chalice if you need to build Chalice for Morgana, which isn't necessary, but he can, he can hold Hodge for Talon, he can hold so much stuff. 
Same with Wukong. He can't hold Morello, but he can hold IE, which is core on Talon. He can also hold other items like Hodge, like GS, like Lost Whisper. He can pretty much hold anything. Same with Fiora. He can pretty much hold Talon items as well. But if you get a Fiora chosen, you can also just keep the Enlightened chosen. Only if it's Enlightened, you keep it. You can keep it, I would say. You can't keep it if you get Duelist. So if you get an Enlightened chosen, you can pretty much slap a chosen on it, which is really good. And you can pretty much reroll for this. It's not optimal, but you can. Just keep it in mind. Now, what else, what other chosens are there to pick up? Uh, let's search by one cost. What else? Um, if you're a semi high yellow player, like your diamond or buff, you can pretty much pivot into town from any comp. I literally got my first chosen I saw. Wait, what's this guy? Warlord Garen. I started the game out with a sword because it was uncontested for some reason. And in the second shop I got a Nidalee too, so I already had free Warlord. I um I got if I remember correctly I got sword. I started with sword, I got glove and I got chain. So I immediately slammed Geo my Garen. Then in carousel, like a couple rounds later, I got a rot. And then we got a lucky lantern and I got a belt. So I could immediately slap Morello one to this Garen. I played Sivir as well in that comp to um to give my Nidalee sharp buff and I also played I think it was Wukong no 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 it wasn't Wukong I played Nautilus but pretty much I played this board just added some units got called to stay and played to level 7 whatever and then I full pivoted over at 5-1 but this is just to show you that any variation can work as long as you're comfortable playing the comp but let, like let's say let's take a scenario it's 3-2, you're level to 6, what do you do? Let's say this is your chosen. This guy right here, this is your divine chosen Gnosis and he has a GA and he has a rod. You can't get on components, but let's say, or you can, oh no, you can't. Okay, let's say he just has a rod, right? You can keep this or you can sell it. Really doesn't matter. If you are low HP at 3-2, I recommend selling your chosen, 1 cost, and rolling for something better. But if you have enough HP and your win streaking or whatever, just a general rule of thumb is be above 30 gold at at free two level six. So at free two, be level six, 30 gold, you're good to go. If you're low HP and you feel like your board is unstable and you're gonna play it out, roll to zero, pick up the good chosen, chosen as sharpshooter, Sivir are good. Chosen such as it's level 6, so you can only get 3 costs, so maybe even Darius can work, because he can hold IE. Uh, Chosen's like Enlightened Fiora can work, Duelist Callista. Uh, what else? Divine Jax is also a good Chosen if you hit it on 6. Like, there are so many variations. Enlightened Janna. Chosen's like that are really good to pick up. So, you made it to 4-1. You leveled to 7, what do you do? Like, let's say you still have a 1 cost Chosen. You're immediately selling it doesn't matter if it's this guy if it's Wukong if you're running cultist even doesn't matter Just sell it and roll for a better chosen it's a chosen such as it's level 7 so you have a small chance of seeing a chosen forecast let's say Talon if you hit enlightened chosen Talon play it obviously in the stack up slap your items on them and go for a first but that's probably not happening in most cases, that won't happen. But chosen like this at level seven, this is where your comp is really starting to come together. So pick up any enlightened unit that's chosen. Doesn't matter which one. It's level seven, so it's obviously not going to be Fiora. But enlightened Janna, enlightened Irelia, adept Irelia is also really good, which we'll get into later. Adept Shanna is really good. Um, Siphoner chosen, Siphoner Vladimir is also fine. Brawler Shafana even, it can win streak you to level 8, you can slap talent items on her. Uh, chosen Nunu with Brawler can work as well, you can slap Morgana items on it. Again, Chosen Kalissa, as I mentioned, and when you were level 6 can work. Chosen Sharp Ch Sivir or Cultist even. All of those units can work. So let's say you get to level 8. And you have like, let's, let's say you do a slow 8, it's 5-1. And you have your talent items, your Morg items. What's like the most basic variation? 
So the most basic variation with no chosen would be obviously Talon, obviously Morgana, Shen, Irelia, Gnosis since you're level 8 so the odds of you hitting Swain are pretty slim, Pike for Assassin, and then Jenna. This is your most basic level 8 version. Yes, there are 7 units, which I will get into. But this is your most basic level 8 comp. You get a GA on Talon, if you have it you get an IE on Talon, and a Morello. These are the 3 core items I believe for Talon. If you get these 3 items, your game is pretty much a top 4. Since you can just slam a flexible Talon item, because literally any sword item, any bow item, apart from CZ Rod of course, any glove item can work. Obviously not Shroud, but you know what I mean. We can go down the list. BT works on Talon, Blue Buff can work, Deathblade, uh, GS, which is my fi personal favorite, Hodge, uh, Lost Whisper, Runons, Rapid Fire, which we'll get into later when we're discussing matchups, uh, Shift if you absolutely have to, but I wouldn't recommend. So those are like the most basic Talon items. So you see seven units, so let's get into it. Yon or Lee. The, one of these two units, you should play at level 8. If you can't get him, you can pretty much flex in a Vanguard like Aatrox or Sedge, but the chances are if you roll down like 40 to 50 gold, you'll find one of these two. Now, when do you play Lee? When do you play Yon? If you find a Yon and only a Yon, you play Yon, and if you only find a Lee, you play Lee. Makes sense. But if you find both, who do you play and when do you play when? Them. So let's say you have an Adept Chosen, Aurelia. It's Yon. It's a set. It's a 6 second attack slow for by 50% for 6 seconds. That's insane. Most Slayer comes, before Olaf comes online, he can't even go online because of 6 seconds. It's insane. But most of the time you're gonna be running Lee. Lee is in every way a way better unit. He can kick out a lot of the uh, tanky units, because in this meta, in this current meta, Aatrox Sedge, Sedgewani and Aatrox are pretty much run on every comp. And Talon has a hard time dealing with him, unless you have Lost Whisper, or GS. GS also is really good into those two, if it's two Vanguard. If it's four, you need Lost Whisper. But Lee will pretty much survive, because of the Vine, and he will kick out at least a single unit. So this is like the most basic variation of a level 8 comp. Now, why do I need to talk about RFC? This item is probably the best Talon item, the best third Talon item I would say, if there's a lot of Kale players or a lot of people who clump with Sivir comps, Kale comps, uh, what else, Keeper comps, hmm, some Mira comps. Let's say they clump, right? Let's say, I'm gonna drag Kale up here, let's say Kale is clumped and these like, let's say Talon jumps into this. Let's say like this. If Talon kills Irelia, he will jump to this Hex and one-shot kill over all these units with RFC. That's literally the reason why you would run RFC, to one-shot units in a clump. That's how Talon works. So, what do you do when you get an Enlightened Chosen? Let's say you get an Enlightened Chosen, doesn't matter which one. Remember, the combo I showed you before this, it was without a Chosen. Let's say you have an Enlightened Chosen. Lee is not played, and said you just play Fiora for 6 Enlightened. 6 Enlightened is a 150 mana increase. That's a lot. Especially for Morgana, who just ults after ult after ult. It's super good. This is pretty much your basic variation of a level 8 6 Enlightened talent comp. Like this. So let's talk about positioning this. So even with the level 8 basic comp and all the other variations I'm gonna show you, positioning is relatively the same. Talon is the only unit by far that needs to be moved. Unless the people are running Sunfire, you don't want Morgana to get Sunfire. But apart from that, Talon is the most important unit. So how do you position Talon? You wanna position Talon in a way that he gets a clean jump without any tanks or units standing in front of him. 
Let's say the enemy board is clumped together in the top left, your top left. You see a lot of units clumped together. Position him in the right, so he doesn't jump into the units. That's pretty much all you want with Talon. You don't want him to jump into the units. No matter what items he has, don't let him jump into the units. Let's say somebody's clumped top left and he has like a target dummy top right. Just full ride him. Just make sure he one shots a target dummy, that way he will reset with his ult. He will jump so he can't, he can't get targeted and he will jump to another unit to one shot. And apart from that, like positioning is really basic. Like if you get a locket, you can you need to position them like this. But you can also like put Morgana here, like it doesn't really matter. You can fill backline, let's say somebody's playing 6 in Diana, you can just fill backline everything. There goes Shen. So this is like the basic 6 enlightened version. Apart from, take this out and play Swain if you hit it. That's basically it. Now, let's say you don't get an Enlightened Chosen. What other versions are there? Adept Chosen. This first one I saw. Fiora gets taken out, so you're sucking out with 7 units. And you play Yone. If he wants to get in there. Okay, you play Yone. This is really good into lobbies with Kale who run GA. A lot of Kale players, including myself, I play Kale. Like, if I don't play Talon, I pretty much play Kale. Well... Put GA on Kale because of the Aesol matchup. Aesol will just one shot from one corner to another and will just one shot Kale. So if they run, <coughs> if there's not a lot of QSSs or if there's a tournament with a GA and no QSS or whatever, for that is really good. Positioning seems relatively the same, except Yon positioning matters a lot more now. So remember what I previously said about Talon? Yon is kind of the same way. You want Yon's ability is to shred 60% of the enemy team's armor. So you want to position him in a way that the tank units get hit, but also the backline gets hit. So he shreds the armor so Talon can get an easier one shot off. So like an example is, let's say there's an Aatrox Satch right here. And there's a Kale right there. You would position Yon. Probably something like this. So he ults this way and hits the Aatrox and Satch and the Kale. Just a variation. The talent positioning obviously stays the same. One thing to note, which I didn't mention, is if you if you're Pike, like how do you position Pike? There's only four correct hexes to play Spike. It's either this one, this one, this one, or this one. Reason for this is let's say you're Talon jumps into units and he ults. With these hexes, he'll cover the most amount of distance. With these four hexes. Let's say he can literally ult from here to here and stun maybe like eight units at once. It can happen. It can I've seen it happen. It can actually happen. So make sure your pike is on one of these four spots, and then you're good to go. Okay, another variation. Let's say you hit Assassin Talon Chosen. What I would recommend is Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the choices we have. We have Pike Talon in, so those are obviously not an option. We have Akali. Now, Akali can never be played. Why? Because we're running Shen. And one ninja is actually really big. Like, I've seen fights won because I had ninja above on Shen. If it's a 1v1 between Shen and another unit. So, that's a no-go. You're not playing a one-cost assassin. No. Just no, you're not running Spirit, you're not running Yumi, you're not running Kindred, you're... Just no. You can run Katarina. But again, Katarina, all the AP items are going on Morg, all the AD items are going on Talon, right? So Katarina is just a synergy bot. So in this case, I recommend Assassin's Pet. Just put it on Jenna for now, but, like, who do you Assassin's Pet? Good Assassin's Pet users? Are Morgana, because of the applied crit with the world. Other units that you can play, like let's say you hit Lee, because these are still seven units. Let's say you hit Lee, you just assassin Lee, which is really good. Same with Yon, you can also assassin spec Yon for four assassin. These are all like variations that can work. Positioning again seems. Pretty much the same, again focus on talent positioning, make sure he doesn't jump into a clump, make sure Pi covers the most distance by using these four hexes. Make sure your Jenna is also in a corner so she doesn't get targeted. It pr pretty much stays the same. 
If you run Assassin Lee and you see a lone unit, make sure he doesn't go there. Because you want to tell him to one-shot that lone unit. You want to make sure Lee kicks out a unit. So just a unit that's standing alone that's not one-shotable. Let's say... Like an execution... Like a Zaya. Let's say a Zaya is on the last row and you let Lee jump into her. Lee will just kick out a Zaya before she can ult, which is really big. So that's another variation of Talon Comp. Let's go to the next one. Siphoner Chosen. Let's say you're at Morgana, Siphoner Chosen. Or Vladimir, or whoever. Just play for a Siphoner. Just stack, you, stack your AP and tank items on Morgana and Swain. And just play for a Siphoner. Positioning again stays the same. You just don't want these units to get Sunfired. So if there's a Sunfire, like, right here, make sure they don't get Sunfired. Again, basically the same thing. Talon is not a really hard comp. The hardest thing about Talon is how to pivot into it, like what to run early, and I showed you that already. Just play any unit that can hold the items, just play strongest board until level 8, and roll down for a board similar to this one. Oh. Let's say you're really healthy, you're maybe smurfing, and you're like 90 HP plus, or you played early game really well, you pivoted correctly. What is your strongest level 9 board? In my personal opinion, the absolute best board to run is this board. Is literally this board. I'll show you items later. But it's 6 Enlightened with Lee Sin, and these are your synergies. Pretty, it's gonna look really clean in game, trust me. You have Define, you have Adept, you have Assassin, you have Duelist, Mystic, Siphoner. Really good, really good synergies. So, how do you finish off this game? Well, get a lost item on Talon. I prefer GS, but if there's like two KL players or more, slam RFC. Or get RFC on Talon. But it's pretty much this is my favorite Talon build. Okay, what else? Tank items on Morgana, or just more damage items. Like any items like maybe Death Cab on Morgana, Jewel Gauntlet can work, but also like Bramble Declaw can work. You can also Bramble Declaw Shen. But like, let's say we get, like, in total, we get 8 completed items. Let's say we get 8 completed items, fully complete. So that's pretty much like what you would get in the game. You would get, like, 6 completed items after stage 4 or 7, and then you get, like, 2 more in the carousels, let's say, give or take. It's probably something like this. It's probably RFC, RFC Lee. These are 7 completed items, or, um, no, 6 completed items. Then like any Morgana item, let's say I prefer Jeweled, something like this. And then finally, probably like blue buff, or it's not both, if you can, great. But it's Warmox. And in my opinion, this is probably the best variation of Talon. This board. So how do you position the best variation level 9 board of Talon? Again, completely the same thing. You have 6 Enlightened, Fiora can frontline, Jenna can go in any corner where she's safe, Pi can go in one of these 4 slots as you previously mentioned. If there's no Kale, just position Talon in a way that he can one-shot a unit, but doesn't jump into units. He can go backline, you can even like put him here. Let's say you get a locket, let's say Shan has a locket, you can also position Talon like this, so he gets locket value. It's completely up to you, but it's a very game dependent. Uh, what else? Like, make sure if you hit a Swain too, make sure to stack like items on Swain as well. All all the tank, all the Morgana tank AP items can go on Swain too, and that's basically it. This is how to play Talon as of currently 11.4b. This is pretty much every single variation that's playable. That's the best. Quick side note. I wouldn't recommend going 9, because Talon is level 8 comp and it's hard to go 9 with a Talon 1 or a Morgana 1. Just go 8 at 4 or 5 if you have the gold and HP to do so, make sure you have 30 gold to roll. Go 8 at 5 1 if uh, you have the HP but you don't have the gold. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, so thank you guys for sticking around, thank you boys for having me, yeah, see ya!